Lalu Prasad Yadav born the 11th of June 1948 is an Indian politician from the state of Bihar. He is the president of the Rashtriya Janata Dal, former chief minister of Bihar, former UPA minister of railways, and former member of parliament of the 15th Lok Sabha. He entered politics at Patna University as a student leader and was elected as then youngest member of the Lok Sabha in 1977 as a Janata Party candidate at the age of 29. He became Chief Minister of Bihar in 1990 but had to resign in 1997 following escalating corruption charges relating to the fodder scam. From 1997 to 2005, his wife Rabri Devi ruled as the Chief Minister of the state. His party came to power in Bihar Legislative Assembly election, 2015, in partnership with Nitish Kumar of JDU, but Nitish Kumar dumped Lalu's party from the power in July 2017 after the Enforcement Directorate and CBI lodged several criminal cases against Lalu, his wife Rabri, his son, and former Deputy Chief Minister, Tehashwi Yadav, in another disproportionate assets and railway tender bribery scam during Lalu's stint as the railway minister. On 3 October 2013, he was sentenced to five years of rigorous imprisonment and 25 lakh rupees $35,000 fine for his role in the first fodder scam by CBI court, then again for 3.5 years in a second fodder scam case on the same day 23 December 2017 when his member of parliament daughter Misa Bharti was also officially charged by Enforcement Directorate in disproportionate assets, while three more fodder scam cases against him are also pending in the court. Yadav was found guilty in third fodder scam case in January, 2018. In March, 2018 special CBI court convicted him in the fourth fodder scam case which is related to swindling of 3.13 crore rupees from the Dumka Treasury. In Dumka Treasury case total 60 lakh rupees fine imposed 30 lakh rupees under PC Act and 30 lakh rupees under IPC and 14 years imprisonment 7 years under IPC and 7 years under Prevention of Corruption Act on Lalu Prasad Yadav in to run consecutively. Personal life Lalu, second of his parents' six sons, was born in Fulwaria in Bihar to Kundan Rai and Marichia Devi, attended a local middle school before moving to Patna with his elder brother. After completing Bachelor of Laws and a Master in Political Science from BN College of Patna University, he worked as clerk in Bihar Veterinary College at Patna where his elder brother was also a peon. He turned down Patna University's honorary doctorate in 2004. Yadav married Rabri Devi on the 1st of June 1973 in an arranged marriage, and they went on to have nine children, two sons, and seven daughters. The Making of Lalu Yadav, the Unmaking of Bihar, updated and reprinted under the title Subaltern Sahib, Bihar and the Making of Lalu Yadav, is a book based on Lalu's life by Sankarshan Thacker. Relationship Lalu Prasad and his wife have nine children. Politics career Positions held 1977, elected to the 6th Lok Sabha at the age of 29. 1980-1989, member of the Bihar Legislative Assembly two terms. 1989, a leader of opposition of Bihar Legislative Assembly, chairman of Pustakalaya Committee, convener a committee on public undertakings. Re-elected to the 9th Lok Sabha second term. 1990-1995, member of the Bihar Legislative Council. 1990-1997, Chief Minister of Bihar 1995-1998, Member of the Bihar Legislative Assembly 1996, Lalu implicated in fodder scam 1997, splits from Janata Dal to form Rashtriya Janata Dal 1998, re-elected to 12th Lok Sabha 3rd term 1998–1999, Member of General Purposes Committee, Committee on Home Affairs and its Sub-Committee on Swatantrata Sonic Salmon Pension Scheme, Consultative Committee of Ministry of Information and Broadcasting 2004, re-elected to the 14th Lok Sabha 4th term. 
appointed cabinet minister in the Ministry of Railways in Upa Govt. Lalu, wife Rabri Devi, son Tehashwi Yadav and daughter Misa Bharti booked for railway tender bribery scam, disproportionate illegal property and income tax evasion cases in 2017. 2009, re-elected to the 15th Lok Sabha fifth term and disqualified in 2013 subsequent to his conviction in the first fodder scam case. Topic. 1970–1990, student politics In 1970, Lalu entered in student politics as General Secretary of the Patna University Students' Union became its president in 1973, joined J. Prakash Narayan Bihar movement in 1974 where he became sufficiently close to Janata Party JP leaders to become the Janata Alliance's winning candidate in the 1977 Lok Sabha election from Chopra at the age of 29. In 1979, the Janata Party government fell due to infighting, the parliament was dissolved with new polls held in 1980. Lalu quit Janata Party to join the splinter group, Janata Party S led by Raj Narain, only to lose the re-election in 1980. He managed to win Bihar Legislative Assembly election later in 1980, and again in 1985 to become leader of opposition in Bihar Assembly in 1989. Later in 1989, he was also elected for Lok Sabha under V. P. Singh government. By 1990, he positioned himself as the leader of Yadav, 11.7% of the Bihars, and lower castes. Muslims, who had traditionally served as Congress I vote bank, shifted their loyalty to Prasad after the 1989 Bagalpur violence. He became popular among the Muslim and Yadav voters of Bihar. Topic: 1990 to 1997, Lalu and wife as chief ministers of Bihar during the Fodder scam era. In 1990, Janta Dal came to power in Bihar. PMVP Singh wanted former Chief Minister Ram Sundar Das to lead the government, and Chandra Shikhar backed Raghunath Jha. To break deadlock deputy PM Devi Lal nominated Prasad as CM candidate. He was victorious in an internal poll of Janta Party MLAs and became the Chief Minister. On 23 September 1990, Prasad arrested L. K. Advani at Samastipur during the latter's Ram Rath Yatra to Ayodhya, and presented himself as a secular leader. The World Bank lauded his party for its work in the 1990s on the economic front. In 1993, Prasad adopted a pro-English policy and pushed for the re-introduction of English as a language in school curriculum, contrary to the Angrezi Hatao Banish English policy of then Uttar Pradesh CM Mulayam Singh Yadav. Policy of opposition to English was considered an anti-elite policy since both the Yadav leaders represented the same social constituents the backward castes, Dalits and minority communities. With the help of Yadav Muslim votes, Lalu continued to be Bihar CM. In the fodder scam, Central Bureau of Investigation CBI issued an arrest warrant for Yadav, and he had to resign from CM's post. Subsequently, he installed his wife Rabri Devi as Bihar CM. Topic: 1998 to 2002, formation of RJD and out of power. In 1997, due to allegation related to fodder scam, a leadership revolt surfaced in Janata Dal. Consequently, Lalu broke away from Janata Dal and formed a new political party, Rashtriya Janata Dal (RJD). In 1998 general for 12th Lok Sabha Lalu won from Madhepura, but lost in 1999 general election to Sharad Yadav. In Bihar Legislative Assembly election, 2000 he won and remained in opposition. 2002-2005, RJD and Rabri rule in Bihar In 2002, Lalu was elected in Rajya Sabha where he stayed till 2004. In 2002, RJD formed the government with Rabri Devi as the CM. Except for brief president rule and eight days term of Nidish Kumar, RJD remained in power in Bihar till 2005. 2004-2009, Railway Minister 
In 2004, Yadav contested general election from Chopra and Madhepura against Rajiv Pratap Rudi and Sharad Yadav respectively and won from both the seats. In total, RJD won 21 seats and it allied with Indian National Congress becoming second largest member of UPAI after Congress. Yadav became the railway minister in the 2004 UPA government. Later, he gave up the Madhepura seat. As railway minister, Yadav left passenger fares untouched and focused on other sources of revenue for the railways. He banned plastic cups from being used to serve tea at railway stations and replaced those with kulhars earthen cups, in order to generate more employment in rural areas. Later, he also said that he had plans to introduce buttermilk in Khadi. In June 2004, he announced that he would get on the railway himself to inspect its problems and went on to board the Patna railway station at midnight. When he took over, the Indian Railways was a loss-making organization. In the four years under his leadership, it showed a cumulative total profit of 250 billion rupees $5.2 billion. The turnaround of railways from a loss-making to a profit venture was actually more of a cosmetic exercise. According to CAG, it was the new practice of issuing a statement of cash and investable surplus that helped Lalu project a rosy picture. In 2008, the profits shown were 25,000 crore rupees $3.5 billion. Schools of management became interested in Yadav's leadership in managing the turnaround with more or less the same IAS officers and the same workforce who worked under the previous ministers. The alleged turnaround was introduced as a case study by the prestigious Indian Institute of Management. Yadav also received invitations from eight Ivy League schools for lectures, and addressed over a hundred students from Harvard, Wharton, and others in Hindi. In 2009, Yadav's successor Mamata Banerjee and the opposition parties alleged that the so called turnaround of the railways during his tenure was merely a result of presenting financial statements differently. In 2011, a report by the Controller and Auditor General CAG endorsed this view. CAG found that the surplus Shown on the financial statements during Yadav's tenure covered cash and investable surplus, which were not included in the net surplus figures released by the railways in the earlier years. The cash surplus included the money available for paying dividend, contribution to the depreciation reserve fund used for renewal or replacement of existing assets, and other funds for investment. The investable surplus included the money allocated for capital expenditure. The report concluded that the performance of the railways actually declined marginally during the last few years of Lalu's tenure. Earlier in August 2008, CNN Ibn had also alleged that Yadav had misused his position as the Union Railway Minister to help his relatives acquire land. Topic: 2005 to 2010, RJD out of power in Bihar. In November 2005 state elections RJD won 54 seats, less than both Janata Dal United JDU and the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP. Nitish Kumar-led coalition, consisting of JDU and BJP, came to power. In the 2010 elections, the RJD tally was reduced to just 22 seats whereas the ruling alliance claimed a record 206 out of the 243 assembly seats. Topic: 2009 to 2014, out of power in center in Bihar. In 2009 general election, RJD won four seats and provided outside support to Manmohan Singh government. In May 2012, Lalu Prasad Yadav envisaged Hamid Ansari, previous vice president, as a presidential candidate. In May 2013, Lalu Yadav tried to rejuvenate the party and fuel the party workers in his Parivartan rally. After the conviction in fodder scam on 3 October 2013, Yadav was disqualified from the membership of Lok Sabha. In 2014 general election, Lalu Yadav's RJD again won four seats. Lalu Yadav has been working on a merger of six parties to form a Janata Parivar. 2015 current, conviction in two fodder scam cases In the Bihar Legislative Assembly election, 2015, Lalu Yadav's RJD became the largest party with a total of 81 seats. 
He along with his partner Nidish Kumar of JD U had the absolute majority to form a government in Bihar. This was cited as a major comeback for the RJD and for Lalu Yadav on the political stage of Bihar after a gap of 10 years. But that suffocating alliance did not last long as Nidish Kumar dumped and ousted Lalu's party from the power and alliance in July 2017 after the Enforcement Directorate and Central Bureau of Investigation lodged several criminal cases against Lalu's son and Deputy Chief Minister, Tehashwi Yadav. Topic. Corruption, conviction and criticism Topic. Corruption cases Lalu has been convicted and jailed in two scams, he and his family, including wife Rabri Devi, sons Tehashwi Yadav and Tej Pratap Yadav, and daughter Misa Bharti have has been charged in several other corruption cases c. January 2018 1996 fodder scam First case of 33.61 crore Indian rupees scammed from Chaibasa Treasury, conviction in 2013 Fodder scam has several cases, in which Lalu is an accused in six cases, he has been convicted in two cases and three more cases against him are still pending in the court c. January 2018. In the first case, Lalu was accused in 1996 and later convicted in fodder scam. Cases in which about 4.50 billion rupees .85 million were siphoned off from the animal husbandry department, albeit the probe itself was ordered by him. Several reports of alleged embezzlement of money withdrawn from the animal husbandry department were tabled from 1990 to 95. In January 1996, a raid conducted on Chaibasa Treasury indicated the siphoning off of funds by non-existent companies. Yadav then ordered an inquiry to probe the alleged irregularities. However, after a public interest litigation, the Bihar High Court in March 1996 ordered the case to be handed over to the CBI. In June 1997, CBI filed the charge sheet in the case and made Yadav an accused. The fodder scam forced Yadav to resign from the office of chief minister and he appointed his wife, Rabri Devi, his successor as the state's chief minister. In 2001 Supreme Court transferred the scam cases to newly formed Jharkhand and trial began in a special court in Ranchi in 2002. In August 2013, Yadav tried to get the trial court judge transferred, but his plea was rejected by Supreme Court of India. Yadav has been an accused in many of the 53-odd cases filed. He has been remanded to custody on multiple occasions because of the number of cases. Over 64 people were convicted in the case. Yadav was first sent to judicial remand. Bihar Military Police Guest House, Patna on 30 July 1997, for 134 days. On 28 October 1998, he was again sent to the same guest house for 73 days. When the Supreme Court of India took exception to his guest house stay, he had also moved to the Boar Jail in Patna. On 26 November 2001, Yadav was again remanded, in a case related to the fodder scam. Yadav accused the NDA of creating a conspiracy against him. On 1 October 2004, the Supreme Court of India served a notice to Yadav and his wife, Rabri Devi, on the fodder scam. This was in response to a petition which alleged that they have been interfering with the investigation. Lalu Prasad Yadav, along with 44 other accused, was convicted on 30 September 2013, by Central Bureau of Investigation Court at Ranchi, after being found guilty in fraudulent withdrawal of Rs. 37 crores 370 million Indian rupees from Chaibasa Treasury. Several other politicians, IAS officers were also convicted in the case. Immediately after the verdict was pronounced, Lalu Prasad Yadav was arrested and taken to Bursa Munda Central Jail, located at Ranchi. Consequent upon his conviction, Mr. Yadav stands disqualified as MP and he will not be eligible to contest public election for next six years. He has been given a jail sentence of five years and a fine of 25 lakh rupees. Lalu Yadav was sentenced again on 23 December 2017. He was released on bail from Bursa Munda Central Jail, after he completed the bail formalities in a special CBI court, two and a half months after he was convicted in a fodder scam case. 
1998 La Luz disproportionate assets case in 1998, a disproportionate assets case arising out of fodder scam was registered against Yadav and Rabri Devi. In April 2000, both were made co-accused in the charge sheet and surrendered. While Rabri Devi got bail due to being CM of Bihar, Yadav was remanded for 11 days and sent to the Boer jail. Due to the proceedings in the fodder scam, Yadav was remanded for a day in Boer jail on 28 November 2000. CBI failed to prove them guilty and they were acquitted by a CBI court in 2006. Bihar government wanted to appeal against the acquittal, but Supreme Court in 2010 ruled that state government can not challenge such rulings. Topic: 1996 fodder scam second case of 89.27 lakh Indian rupees scammed from Dayer Treasury conviction in 2017. Lalu was convicted and jailed in second fodder scam case of 8.927 million Indian rupees on the same day 23 December 2017 when his Member of Parliament daughter Misa Bharti was also officially charged by Enforcement Directorate in disproportionate assets, while four more fodder scam cases against him are also pending in the court. Lalu was convicted the 23rd of December 2017 and sentenced on the 6th of January 2018 to three and a half years imprisonment and one million Indian rupees fine under the Under the Prevention of Corruption Act and the sections 120b Criminal Conspiracy, Section 420 Cheating and Dishonestly, Section 467 Forgery, Section 471 Forged Record and Section 477a Falsification of the Indian Penal Code and for the fraudulent withdrawal of 8,900,000 Indian rupees from the Dayer District Treasury between 1990 and 1994. 1996 fodder scam third case of 35.62 crore Indian rupees scammed from Chaibasa Treasury, conviction in 2018. This case, pertaining to scamming 356 Indian rupees. 2 million scammed from the Chaibasa Treasury of West Singbam District. 1996 fodder scam Fourth case of 3.97 crore Indian rupees scammed from Dumka Treasury, conviction in 2018. Lalu Prasad was convicted by the Special CBI Court in the fourth fodder scam case relating to alleged withdrawal of 3.13 crore rupees from the Dumka District Treasury over two decades ago. CBI judge awarded him two separate sentences of seven years each under the Indian Penal Code and the Prevention of Corruption Acts. 1996 fodder scam fifth case of 184 crore Indian rupees scammed from Duranda Treasury, pending in court. This case, pertaining to the scamming of 1.84 billion Indian rupees from the Duranda Treasury in Ranchi, is still pending in the special CBI court c. January 2018. 2005 Indian Railway Tender Scam, Lalu Family Booked by CBI 2005 Indian Railway Tender Scam, investigated by the CBI, is the bribery and corruption case where Lalu Prasad Yadav and his family are charged for illegally receiving prime property from the bidder as a bribe for corruptly awarding the railway tender during Lalu's tenure as railway minister. Transfer of these properties as bribe to Lalu and his children were disguised using the shell companies, for example, wife Rabri Devi and three children, Misa Bharti, Tehashwi Yadav and Tej Pratap Yadav, received Saguna Moore Mall property worth 45 crore Indian rupees through a shell company named Delight Marketing renamed as Lara Properties, and another shell company AB Exports was used to transfer properties worth 40 crore Indian rupees for a price of 4 lakh Indian rupees to Lalu's other three children Tehashwi Yadav. Ragini and Chanda. This case spawned several other related but independent cases, such as disproportionate assets case as well as tax avoidance case by ED. 
Under the Banami Transactions Prohibition Act recipient of such Banami properties can be imprisoned for up to seven years and fined up to 25% fair market value, and convicted politicians are barred from contesting elections or holding elected position for six years. Topic. 2017 Delight Properties 45 crore Banami Disproportionate Assets and Tax Evasion Cases, Lalu Family Booked by Ed 2017 Delight Properties 45 crore Banami Disproportionate Assets and Tax Evasion Case, investigated by Enforcement Directorate Ed, against Lalu, his wife Rabri Devi, son Tehashwi Yadav, daughter Misa Bharti and others, arose from the alleged illegal proceeds of the 2005 Indian Railway Tender Scam. The IT department issued summons for 12 June 2017 to MP Misa Bharti, over Banami land deals worth 10 billion rupees. Misa was officially charged by ED in disproportionate assets case on the same day her father was convicted again in the second fodder scam. After CBI lodged a fur on 5 July 2017, ED also filed the Case Information Report ECIR on 27 July 2017 against Lalu, his wife Rabri, their younger son Tehashwi Prasad Yadav and others in the railway's tender corruption and ill-gotten property scam that happened during Lalu's tenure as the railway minister. Taking action against this scam, Ed of Income Tax Department on 12 September 2017 attached more than 12 properties in Patna and Delhi including the plot for the mall in Patna, a farm house in Delhi and up-market land in Palam Vihar in Delhi. This includes the transfer of 450 million Indian rupees 45 crore Seguna more Banami property transferred to Lalu's wife Rabri Devi and children Tehashwi Yadav and Tej Pratap Yadav by using a shell company named Delight Properties, which was later renamed as Lara Properties. Updated, 7 January 2018. 2017 AB Exports 40 crore Banami Disproportionate Assets and Tax Evasion Cases, Lalu Family Booked by Ed AB Exports was a shell company used to transfer, as a bribe for the railway tender scam, 400 million Indian rupees 40 crore Banami property for a mere price of 400,000 Indian rupees to Lalu's three children Tehashwi Yadav, Ragini Yadav and Chanda Singh. Ed has attached this property and booked the three accused children of Lalu. Updated, 7 January 2018. 2017 Patna Zoo Soil Scam 2017 Patna Zoo Soil Scam is a case against Lalu Prasad Yadav and his sons Tej Pratap Yadav and Tihazwi Yadav for the gross irregularities of selling soil from the construction of Tej Pratap Saguna Moor Mall basement. The bogus beautification scheme was for 90 lakh rupees to Patna Zoo without inviting any tenders when Tej Pratap was the Minister of Environment and Forest in Bihar, a department that controls the zoo. The scam came to the light in April 2017. A public interest litigation pill was filed in Patna High Court in October 2017. Court ordered the Bihar government to furnish the details of investigation, following which the case was handed over to Bihar Vigilance Investigation Bureau (VIB) Department for the investigation under the Pollution Control Board Act, the Environment Protection Act, and Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Update: The 6th of January 2018. 2018. Topic: Topic. Criticism. Topic: Negative image of corrupt, casteist, nepotistic, and dynastic politician. Lalu Prasad Yadav is one of the first noted politicians to lose parliamentary seat on being arrested in fodder scam, as per Supreme Court decision banning convicted legislators to hold their posts. Despite several ongoing corruption cases against him, he and his wife Rabdi Devi ruled Bihar state for 15 years, a period during which every economic and social rankings of the state went to lowest level when compared to other states of India. During his tenure as chief minister, Bihar's law and order was at lowest, kidnapping was on rise and private armies mushroomed. Alleged voter pandering 
While campaigning for Bihar elections in 2005, both Lalu Prasad Yadav and Ram Vilas Paswan used a Muslim cleric in the traditional Islamic dress to woo Muslim voters. The cleric would accompany them in their helicopter to various election meetings, share the stage with them and make speeches that attacked the United States for its alleged anti-Muslim activities. Pramod Mahajan, senior leader of the Bharatiya Janata Party, had criticized both leaders for this by comparing the cleric with Osama bin Laden and blaming that they were glorifying the name of a man who is recognized as the most wanted terrorist in the world. See also List of Chief Ministers of Bihar <laughs>